Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this example, we are going to add together two rational expressions. So the y divided by y minus 5 and the negative 50 divided by y squared minus 25. Now remember, two rational expressions work much the same way that fractions do. So if we are going to add them together, we need a common denominator first. Now, one great way to start recognizing what common denominator you will need is to see if you can factor the denominators as much as possible. Let's go ahead and do that with each of these rational expressions. So y minus 5 does not really factor, so I'll leave that just as it is. But when I look at y squared minus 25, that does factor. That factors into y plus 5 and y minus 5. All right, now that actually gives us lots of information. Because what I can see now is that both of them have a y minus 5, but this one seems to be missing that y plus 5 if we're going to get that common denominator. So before I combine these two, let's go ahead and get a common denominator on this side by multiplying the bottom and the top by the y plus 5. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. Perfect. Now they both have the exact same denominator. Okay? Now just like fractions, once you get the denominator the same, it's all about focusing on the top. So let's go ahead and put the top together and see what we get. Perfect. So we've added together these two rational expressions, but be careful not to stop just so fast. Always take a look at your answer after you've combined them and ask yourself, is there any way I can simplify this anymore? To figure out that question, try factoring the top and seeing if there's any common factors that might cancel in the top and in the bottom. So as I look at that top, let's see what it might factor into. Let's see, I know y times y will give me a y squared. I know 10 times 5 will give me 50. Let's see, but I need them to add together to give me a positive 5, so I'm going to use a positive 10 and a negative 5 over here. Let's just quickly foil this through and see if it works. So y times y is y squared. Outside would be negative 5, inside positive 10. Those combined to give me a positive 5, looks good. And positive 10 times negative 5, negative 50. All right. So we can be assured that that's really how it factors. Now that's very interesting. Look at this. It looks like we have a common factor of y minus 5 in the top and in the bottom. And if we have a common factor, we can go ahead and cancel that out. Now it looks like the only thing we're left is a y plus 10 in the top and a y plus 5 in the bottom. So now we've added together the two rational expressions and we've simplified it as much as possible. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.